Christ. <laughs> These are your traditions. This, this isn't about, he says, you have taken the commandments of God and have put human commandments and traditions on it. And, for, and this is true. For the Israelites, washing your hands was as important as thou shalt not kill. It had the same significance because both were unholy, both were unclean. So there was no separation between how unclean one thing was and how unclean another thing was. All were unclean. And so Jesus is saying, here you are putting a man-made regulation and making it holy. It's just like the Bible says you must honor your mother and father. You can follow along with me in chapter number 15, verse number 1, uh, going down. It's just like the commandment says you must honor your mother and father. When it talks about honor, it's talking about also taking care of it. In the Bible, honor is not just honor. I give the Harris's honor. I give you double honor. I give you triple honor. I honor. No, it's about taking care of them. That's what honor is. So it says give double honor, doesn't it? Some of you grew up in churches. I give the pastor honor, I give the pastor double honor. <laughs> it's about taking care of them. Honor your mother and father. Take care of them. If you, if you have a house and they don't, if you have money and they don't, if you're living well and they're on welfare, that's not honoring them. You, you honor them by taking care of them. So Jesus is saying the commandment is you have to honor your mother and father. Not honor, mama, I love you. And then you walk away and mama and daddy are suffering. And you don't even think anything of it because you've honored them. You sat at the table, ate mama's food, grunted and left and didn't ask mama how she paid for it. And so Jesus is saying, honor, and here you are, and this is important, tap somebody that says it's going to get better in a second. <laughs> Jesus is saying, the tradition is that you can take an oath. So the money you have, you can say, I pledge this money to God and the temple. That is the oath I'm giving. So the money you have just pledged, the oath you've just made, goes to God and the temple. But then you see your mother and father in need and you say, I want to now take some of that money and give it to them. The Bible in Numbers 30, chapter, chapter 30, number 2, says that if you make an oath, you can't renege on the oath. And so if you make that oath that you're going to give money to the temple and to God, and you now want to make a change to honor your mother and father, tradition says you cannot violate that oath. So Jesus is saying, you mean to tell me the commandment says to honor your mother and father and you make an oath to give the money to God and the temple and if you want to then honor the commandment by changing the oath, to, you mean to tell me you become unclean because you're trying to obey the commandment? Jesus said, the devil is a liar. This makes no sense and this is the point. Their religion was based on rules, regulations, rituals, and legalism. Jesus is saying, mine is based on the heart. And you can't judge the heart. That's why some of you came from churches that judge you. It's a legalistic way to determine you're saved and you're not saved. You're holy and you're not holy. But you can't judge the heart. Who's the only one that can judge the heart? God. And so therefore some of you have lived in condemnation because others have set up rules and regulations to judge whether or not you are holy or unholy. But God through Jesus in this text is saying it ain't for man to decide. Don't let anybody make you think you're less than somebody because you really don't know how holy or unholy they are. Only God knows. And some of you, I pray that what has just been said has set you free. You are not unholy because you got a divorce. Some of you grew up in churches 
where if you got a divorce, you became unholy and you were unrighteous and you've lived under condemnation because you got a divorce and you've been living under that condemnation for 20 years. I come today to rebuke that demon in the name of Jesus. Some of you have lived in religions that are based on rules and regulations. Thou shalt not. You got to wear a doily on your head before you come to the altar. If you don't wear a doily, you can't even come. You can't wear jewelry. You can't wear makeup. You can't wear open pointed shoes. You can't wear pants. <laughs> As if these things determine whether or not you're holy. The devil is a liar. So an unholy person wears no makeup, and you know what I'm talking about, wears no makeup, no jewelry, no open-pointed shoes, has a doily on their head, as evil as the devil, but they're considered okay. <laughs> 